The meeting had senior executives of the Nigeria Police Force, including DIGs, AIGs and police commissioners in attendance. The main objective is to review the country's internal security issues and re-evaluate strategies for effective policing. The IGP begins with an update on crime statistics since the start of 2022. This includes successes in the recently launched Operation Sahara Storm in Sokoto State. He further addressed the allegation of missing weapons in the police armory. A report by the Auditor General of the Federation alleged that about 178,459 different types of firearms and ammunition got missing from the Nigeria Police Armory in 2019. We have subjected our armories for scrutiny to both internal and external auditors. And we have not been given that report officially that such large quantity of arms are missing in our armory. But like you said, after we had also seen the report in the media, we tasked our armament officer to find out the truth about it. We have set our own internal mechanism to check. And at the same time, we are collaborating with the Auditor General to also give us the details of these missing arms. But certainly, in our day-to-day -day operations, we've been losing arms and there are means and ways of reporting the loss. Other issues discussed at the meeting are the strategic deployment of police personnel, preparations for the 2023 general elections, and how to enhance relations with the publics. Much as significant progress is being recorded, we must admit that we are not yet close to achieving our national security goal of restoring an internal security order that is enduring enough to fully assure the citizens and restore optimal confidence in the police force. Police management team also honored Constable Mary Yetunde Abbey, also known as Iron Abbey, who recently won the World Boxing Foundation International Super Bantam League title in London. She was promoted to the rank of the couple. Ferdinand Guerrero, around